Okay, tiri bali kena tak kena film kan? Awak ni ask me sah with islam. Even when I call your hand, you still be hold my hand. Don't worry, so you know they break my hand. Sing about your mercy, I'll sing about your grace. Now you they post my brain every night and day. Of course, this title is actually taken from Moses, please, and of course, uh, the chorus of the just song. Um, but God is actually faithful. Uh, you know, David has sinned against the Lord uh, by depending on his army instead of depending on God. And you know, punishment was going to come because usually uh, when you breach God's rules, you are going to get the punishment for your sin. And let's take it from First Chronicles chapter 21, verse 11. So God came to David and said to him, Thus is the Lord, choose for yourself either three years of famine or three months to be defeated by your enemies with the sword of your enemies overtaking you, or else for three days the sword of the Lord, the plague in the land, with the angel of the Lord destroying throughout all the territory of Israel. Now consider what answer I should take back to him who sent me. And David said to God, I am in great distress. Please let me fall into the hand of the Lord, for his mercies are very great. But do not let me fall into the hand of man. Actually, there is a huge lesson to learn from this. Uh, human beings will completely destroy you, decimate you, do whatever it is to make sure that you never rise again. Uh, it's true that God does punish sin because he has, he's, he's either too holy to behold iniquity. But if you look at this particular account, you know, uh, David decided to fall into the hands of God. I mean, I'm not trying to encourage sin. But if we do make a mistake, we can always come back to God and forgive. Don't be like Saul that went in the other direction completely. No matter what it is that you've done, come back to God. As long as you are penitent, he's going to forgive. And that is the major lesson to learn from this. Because of course the judgment started, and just like David had predicted, God, God's mercies will eventually come into play, and he has to stop the plague. So this is the God that we serve. And it's also a clarion call for those that have not made a commitment. It doesn't matter the depth. To which are sunk in sin, you know, uh, the hands, the hands of God are still open to receive you, so you can make that commitment. And for those that are believers, do not ever let the devil make you go in the other direction. No matter what it is that you've done, ask for forgiveness and come back into good standing with God.